This question is from Gate 2012, Mechanical Engineering Paper, question number 26. The homogeneous state of stress of a metal part undergoing plastic deformation is T is equal to the matrix with elements 10, 5, 0, 5, 20, 0 and 0, 0, minus 10, where the stress component values are in megapascal. Using Von Mises yield criterion, the value of estimated shear yield stress in megapascal is. Let's find out. First thing from the given matrix, we can write down the stress values. So the diagonal elements are sigma xx, sigma yy and sigma zz. So sigma xx is given to be 10 megapascal, sigma yy is given to be 20 megapascal and sigma zz is given to be minus 10 megapascal. While the non-diagonal element at position first row second column is tau xy which is given to be 5 megapascal and all other elements are 0 so we can write tau zx is 0 and tau phi z is also 0. Now we have to use one masses criteria to find out the shear yield stress. So shear yield stress tau will be yield stress sigma if we assume the yield stress to be sigma, the shear yield stress will be tau equal to sigma by root 3. This is as per the von Mises criteria. So this value of constant here 1 by root 3 is only for von Mises criteria. As the failure theory changes, this constant value also change. This you should know beforehand to solve this problem. Now to calculate sigma, which is the yield stress value, we use the formula under root as per one masses criteria sigma is equal to under root of half of sigma xx minus sigma yy whole square plus sigma yy minus sigma zz whole square plus sigma zz minus sigma xx whole square plus six times tau xy whole square other terms are zero so we'll just stop here it, it's actually addition of square of all the shear stress values bracket closed be careful while using this formula this half is being multiplied to the complete term if you're only multiplying it to the first three terms take this constant to be three and not six so be careful while using this formula now let's substitute the values and find out the yield stress sigma which is equal to under root of one by two into first bracket is sigma xx minus sigma yy so it will be 10 minus 20 square plus second one is 20 minus minus 10 square plus third one is minus 10 minus 10 square here also pay attention with this negative sign plus six times tau xy is five square bracket closed so this turns out to be sigma equal to under root of one by two 10 minus 20 that is minus 10 square which is 100 plus 20 plus 10 30 square 900 plus minus 10 minus 10 minus 20 whole square which is 400 plus 5 square is 25 into 6 is 150. So this turns out to be 1550 divided by 2. So that comes out 775. Root of 775 is 27.84. This value is in megapascal because all the values here are in megapascal and we are only adding, squaring and then taking the square root. So unit remains same. Let's put here to find out the shear yield strength. Tau will be equal to 27.84 by root 3 and by calculating this in the digital calculator, we get tau is 16.07 megapascal. Let's go back and mark the correct option. So our answer is given in option B. The shear yield stress value in megapascal is 16.07. To learn more about failure theories, you can refer to the NPTEL video, Failure Theories from the course Modern Construction Materials. This course is by Dr. Ravindra Gettu. He is from Department of Civil Engineering of IIT Madras. I hope this solution will help you clear your doubt. Thank you.